Ripple Labs has just announced that they would be purchasing back more than 10 billion XRP from their total quantity of XRP that is currently in circulation. But what's even more bizarre is that the Congress of the United States has literally acknowledged that they would be purchasing back XRP potentially. They have also said and talked about the XRP Ripple lawsuit and explicitly labeled that they stand with Ripple Labs. This is the most bizarre thing that has happened. Forbes has decided to get involved in this situation by literally advertising a price per XRP, which makes the situation even more bizarre. They are predicting that the value of XMP will increase to between $200 and $500 within the next few weeks, and things are going to get even more crazy when you consider that Amazon will be officially incorporated onto the XRP. Additionally, this has been verified as true. However, this is not the end of the story because Ripple's settlement is also a possibility. Ripple has been the source of speculation, claiming that government regulation and institutional adoption of the cryptocurrency is on the horizon and will take place before the year 2024 is done. Now, this is an incredible video and Forbes, the most reputable and influential business and news magazine, has confirmed that the price of XRP is between $200 and $500 respectively. That being said, before we get into this incredible video, I would want to mention that I will be giving out free XRP for the next couple of weeks. We are absolutely doing fantastic. We are about to hit 60,000 subscribers. So drop a follow on my Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. And with all of that being said, all of them will be rolled once we reach 100,000 subscribers. So hit that like button, subscribe to the channel with your post notifications, and share this video. I am absolutely thrilled with how well we are doing. First things first, let's jump right into today's epic video. And of course, we have to begin with today's epic price, also known as XRP, which is now at 51 cents, which is a slight decrease from yesterday. Now, obviously, we are going to begin with this insane, spectacular movie, which is basically Congress talking about Ripple XRP and promoting its benefits. Now, obviously, we have discussed how Ripple is a significant participant in this election and how it is highly possible that the government of the United States is exerting pressure on the esteemed chairman to leave and to bring an end to the lawsuit that Ripple is currently engaged in with the Securities and Exchange Commission CC. It has been made quite apparent by the CEO of Ripple himself, who stated that regardless of whether the Democrats or the Republicans emerge victorious, Ripple Labs is going to emerge victorious in the case, and Gary Gensler is going to be terminated from his position. And the most bizarre aspect of all of this is that we also have news from Ripple Labs CEO that has been circulating on Twitter. This news states that XRP is going to be incorporated into the Federal Reserve and that some of the XRP is going to be placed in. This news is coming regardless of which party wins the election. The United States Treasury, and it will obviously pump the voice of XRP, and this may be the reason why we are getting that news that the price of XRP will be between $200 and $500 within the next couple of weeks. This would obviously take place after the election, and it is likely that at that time we will see XRP integrated as part of the Federal Reserve. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and start playing that video right away. We would want to express our gratitude to Chairman Hill and Ranking Member Lynch for hosting this significant hearing today, and we would also like to extend our gratitude to our witnesses for their presence. By transferring economic power away from centralized organizations and back into the hands of the people, crypto technology is bringing about a shift. It is transformative, and it has the potential to be extremely dangerous for unelected bureaucrats and, to tell you the truth, some elected officials in Washington, District of Columbia. This danger has been brought to light through a number of administrative measures that have taken place in recent times. On January 3, 2023, the Federal Reserve, the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation FDIC, and the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency OCC published a statement that discouraged banks from holding cryptocurrency or servicing cryptocurrency or servicing cryptocurrency clients on the basis of safety and soundness. The Federal Reserve published a statement in the Federal Register on February 7, 2023, which appeared to turn this perspective into a final regulation. However, the statement did not follow the public comment process that is established in the Administrative Procedure Act. The White House National Economic Council published a quote from the administration's blueprint to minimize, mitigate the risks associated with cryptocurrencies on January 27, 2023, in the midst of all of this. The purpose of this paper is to provide a summary of President Biden's political plan to improperly abuse the administrative state in order to force American cryptocurrency companies and their clients in the United States into overseas markets that are unregulated, unpredictable, and risky. These most recent measures are a clear demonstration of what Congress and the American people have already observed. Currently, the administration is using the banking industry as a weapon in order to debank legitimate cryptocurrency activities in the United States. Both the use of scare tactics to drive an entire industry out of the nation and the failure of FTX should serve as a warning to us about the precarious situation we are placing American consumers in when we fail to compete to retain cryptocurrency companies on the territory of the United States. It is quite clear that the policies of the government are driven by a desire to exert a greater degree of control over the people of the United States. But mostly due to the fact that crypto is not a political issue in Congress. The Republican Party and the Democratic Party have a history of working together in a positive manner for eight years on finding answers to this space. 
Right now, this is just the beginning. We did receive the news that the XP ETF was filed by 21 shares only today, as we mentioned before. And what's even more bizarre is that the XP ETF filing itself, which has now officially become official, has been posted on the website of the United States Securities and Exchange Commission. This means that the SEC is literally approving these applications for the XRP spot ETF, while at the same time stating that they are literally holding Ripple Labs and XRP accountable for their actions. When we take a closer look at the specifics, we can see that it is not designed to make any sense at all. It is completely impossible to comprehend. Really, from the very beginning of this litigation, the state has been seeking to make a profit off of Ripple Labs and take a fine of $2 billion. Prior to this, they had already promised that they would be willing to sell with Ripple Labs if Ripple Labs, if Ripple Labs paid the $2 billion in fines. Ripple, on the other hand, ended up rejecting the proposal in the first place, and then they ended up winning the verdict that they just have to pay fines of approximately $100 million, or even less, I believe it was $10 million. This is how the litigation was resolved, as was to be expected. In the end, this resulted in the Securities and Exchange Commission CC filing an appeal in order to place Ripple Labs in a position where they would be required to pay the $2 billion in order to reach a settlement over the litigation that Ripple filed against the SEC. Additionally, we have received verifiable reports, therefore it is possible that this will take place, that it will take place over the next few days. And this goes back to the references that explain why Forbes analyst has mentioned that we, along with a number of other institutions, believe that XRP could be worth between $200 and $500 and $500 within the next few weeks particularly in light of the successful conclusion of the litigation and the introduction of the XRP Exchange Traded Fund. It goes without saying that I believe we already possess both of things, and the election that will take place in the next four days is, of course, the icing on the cake. As well as what has been priced on the charts that display the price of XRP. In point of fact, the creation of 26,006 cents on the XRP price chart has officially begun, and it is possible that we will start to see the outcome of a big pump occur within the next few hours. Additionally, I would like to discuss two additional important matters, one of which I believe to be of the utmost importance the official incorporation of Amazon into the XRP ledger will be discussed. It is most crucial to note that this is a new development for Ripple Labs XRP ledger, but it is also revolutionary for crypto spaces as a whole. Currently in a development that when it comes to blockchain technology and online shopping, Amazon has officially become an approved vendor of the CTI platform, which is the cryptocurrency trading fund of the XRP ledger. Customers who shop on Amazon now have the extraordinary possibility to acquire CTF tokens as a result of this permission. In order to participate in the Crypto Trading Fund Reward Framework, all they need to do is submit the receipts for their Amazon purchases. By taking this step, the adoption of the XRP Ledger-based DeFi token, which is similar to CTF, in mainstream online buying is strengthened. A further benefit is that it elevates digital reward economies to a higher level. XRP's usability and standing as a major contender in the cryptocurrency market are both elevated as a result of this relationship between Amazon and the crypto trading fund, which signals the beginning of a new age for the XRP ledger. As a result of Amazon's approval as a CTF vendor, crypto users and regular consumers now have access to a plethora of opportunities. These individuals can now earn CTF rewards tokens by making their typical purchases on the most extensive online retail platform in the world. In light of the fact that the CTF token is an indispensable component of the XRP Ledger DeFi ecosystem and has experienced a boom in popularity as it has grown more accessible and versatile, this is an absolutely shocking development. As a result of its relationship with CryptCity, CTF will soon be able to be used as an award token to purchase virtually any project, ranging from smaller investments such as real estate and vehicles to more substantial ones such as home items and gadgets. And a. T this point, this individual is going to be incredibly enormous and of a different kind. You guys should check out the Crypt website, where they literally have the option to sign up and collect free incentives. To reiterate, I strongly suggest that you do so, but as you can see in this example, Amazon is already being rewarded by the CTF reward program. In addition, when you click on this link, you will be taken to their specific platform. If you ask me, this is a really bullish statement.